Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? And you can clearly see that I'm running, right? Like I'm just running to get here as usual. But welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. It is the first of the month. It's March, a new month. And this month, we want to really kick the chat up a notch. We know we want to introduce some things that we have not yet introduced on the channel. We also have membership, and we have a new member. Welcome, Karen McDowell, to membership. And uh, yes, we are going to talk about food today. And we actually get our topic from one of our members. And it's all about eight foods that is going to help you to get glowing skin. We all eat every day, but if you take the time to eat special stuff, special types of food, it can actually help your skin along the way. Now, I already know that it's easier said than done when it comes on to selecting certain kinds of food to eat. But, you know, I'm going to actually give you like eight and I'm actually going to tell you why it is important to eat that kinds of a food or those eight kinds of a food. I'm not just going to tell you don't eat that, don't eat this without basically explaining to you what it do for your skin to create a younger looking you and a fresher skin and also to help your digestive system on a whole. Now, if you're watching and there's anything special that you tend to eat because you want your skin to look amazing, then feel free to share it with us today. Now, it's very sunny here in New York City today, but it's very, very cold. So, you know, you can't win. It's either you're going to enjoy the cold with the sunlight or you're going to just pack up and go somewhere warm for the winter. I like the four season and uh, I also like the sunshine. So when it's cold and the sun is shining, I still enjoy it. I just want to experience the four season. That's what I like. So we're going to do some regular shout out and then we're going to talk about food. Who like eating? I like to eat. Um, I was having a discussion just a while ago about food when you tend to get um a little older i think that well for me my personal experience is that i don't crave food the way i used to crave food i um i'm satisfied with like a nice little sandwich with some fresh tomatoes and stuff like that i am not like in for the big piece of chicken or the big uh, rock uh, lamb or you know like i don't know the food don't appeal to me as it used to and i'm thinking that that might come with age or that might come with just eating too much years ago like really really pigging out so if you're on the chat and you're a little older and you find that you're not gravitating towards the type of foods that you usually eat or that you usually enjoy, feel free to share that with us. Also, if you're new to the chat, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Sunday Chit Chat. We talk about the topic and we often stray from the topic and then we get back on track. So if you're here for the foods, you're going to get the, the, the eight and the eight. And you're also going to get a little more because sometimes we stop, we talk other things, and then we move on. It's a live chat. Now, also, we you know encourage you to um, thumbs up the video to show your support for the channel. And we also encourage you to comment. You know, you're not only here just to watch, comment so we know you're watching so we could give you your shout out. I'm actually in a good mood today, guys, like a very good mood. It's March. It's my birth month. And I'm not a big person on birthdays, to be honest. I'm the type of person that wants a very quiet birthday. However, I like to have a cake. And I also like my favorite food. I don't normally go out. I'm not the type that you're going to make me a party. No. Or, you know, you're going to take me to a nice fancy restaurant. No. I want to eat at home. My, the food I like, you got to go to the fancy restaurant or my favorite restaurant that is. Get the food, take it home, set it up. And I eat there. And that way I could have a little sip of something without having to suffer the consequences. So that's how I celebrate my birthday every year. It's in the middle of the month. I let you guys know, you know, I let you guys know. So I'm excited for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk more about that later on because I might be 
you know, sharing my gifts with you guys. All right, so let's do some shout out and then we're gonna talk about food. Food, we're gonna address the food that you could eat first. Let's get the good stuff out of the way first. Food that are actually good for your skin, that can help your skin to glow. And then we're gonna talk about the ones that, you know, you need to cut back down on. And I'm laughing because some of the foods that I chose today to share with you to cut back on is the same set of foods that I myself is struggling with to try to cut back on. So it's gonna make a good show anyway. We're gonna keep it real. Hello. Karen, as I mentioned earlier, welcome to the chat. Now as a new member, dieted subscriber, thank you. And we have Gina, Gina, hello. Happy to you and everyone. Happy Sunday to you. And we have Jason, our regular on the chat. Um, how are you? I'm doing fine. Raining in Paris. Oh, wow. It's very, very bright and sunny here today, Jason. We have Jill, who is our member. Also, hi, Chichi. Um, and everyone on the chat. Jill, I think I did chose i think is you're the person with the topic today if i'm mistaken let me know and then we have um lucy who is our moderator and she's going to be telling you guys what to do and also keep the trolls out we also have sharon robinson welcome welcome i'm working so hard on my dark on the eyes and sharon i know you know about my dark on the eye stories for the week all right so we also have um magdalene which is um, our regular subscriber, but uh, now a member, dieted subscriber, been here for a long time. And we have Rita. Hello, Rita. How are you? My dieted subscriber that I hold close to my heart. I mean, I hold all of you close to my heart, but you know, you have some people that is here and you really like, you know, really and truly um, have them in your thoughts a lot. So we have Kime. First time I've seen your, you on the chat, and it's probably second time. Um, Kime, I think I pronounced it wrong, K-I-M-E-N, watching from Saudi Arabia. Thank you for that. Lataya Logan, hello, hello. And we have our regular Keisha Aileen out of Jamaica. What is it you're cooking for dinner today, um, Keisha? We are... Um, of Milleris, die artist subscriber. I have not been been up to date with the comments, to be honest. But um, uh, Milleris, you are like you know a die artist subscriber. And the funny thing about it is that now that you're on the live, let's say you actually was one of the person that was selected for the giveaway for um the holidays, and I'm yet to receive your contact information so you could send me your address and your phone number if you don't mind so we could give you send you your little token hello Annette Williams how are you we have Sharon Stanley now guys if you're just joining in don't go away because we're doing the shout out it's very important to acknowledge people I know some people find the shout out like oh why you shout out for so long but it's good to acknowledge people to let them know that you appreciate them you'd be surprised at how far you know you could get when you let people know that you appreciate them there are many a times that we tend to have people hello inga k happy sunday to you we have people doing things for us and we don't take that simple two seconds to say thank you or i appreciate you people need to know that you appreciate them and you need to be grateful and sometimes just a just a slight gesture to somebody like you just like you know i appreciate that it really goes a long way so take the time so when i'm coming on and i'm doing the little shout out guys bear with me because for me i think it's important to let my subscribers know that i appreciate them because no subscribers no show okay you can't have people coming on here weeks after weeks weeks after weeks supporting supporting and you can't even take you know, a couple of minutes to say thank you and I appreciate you. So that is what I do when I do the shout out. So I hope you guys understand, especially the new ones that like, oh, when are we going to hear about the food? It's coming up. It's coming up. All right. So hello, um, Diablo, a member on the channel also. Phyllis um, Massa, how are you? Hello, Chrissy Cooking. How are you? Now I noticed something on the comments, guy. I checked the comments um, this morning and there's a lot of you that is making comments, regular comments, and the comments are being censored. Like they're going for me to approve the comments. I don't know why that is happening. This morning I woke up and there was like 2.7K 
2,700 comments that were like, you know, I need to check the comments. And it's some of you, my regular members. So I don't know if there's a system glitch or what. So I will look at it and see. And then I'll just go on and approve the comments. There was like nothing out of the way. They were just regular comments. Hello, Maya. How are you doing? So I have some water here, okay? And the reason why I have the water, because I'm going to drink some, but this is one of the most important, and most of you already know, it's one of the most important, um, I'm going to call it food, although people are going to be like, oh, no, water is not food, but let's just call it food, okay? Water is very important when it comes on to your skin. It helps to hydrate the skin, and there's a long list of the things that water could do to your body. So I'm not going to lament much about the water, but guys, you need to drink water. And I know, I know, I know it's easier said than done. So what I do, these bottles, and I like to buy, and I don't want anybody come on here and tell me about, oh, you're drinking from a plastic. Come on, let's. I'm drinking from a plastic bottle, okay? All right, so what I do, I put the water right beside me. And that is the reason why I buy these small bottles. And I count how much. I want to drink six of these per day. And I put it right beside me so I see it. So every time, every couple of minutes or, or you know, minutes, I will take a sip. Even if I don't want the water. At the end of the day, I'm supposed to finish the water. Some people get water bottle. Some people get, you know, a big jug. Do whatever you have to do, but get some water in. It's very, very important, not only for the skin, but your health and a whole. So water is number one on the list. So we're going to get it out of the way. Now that we get the water out of the way, let's introduce the first food. And some of you might know this food and some of you might not. And it is sweet potato. Sweet potato potato a couple of years ago everyone was jumping on the sweet potato bandwagon like sweet potato sweet potato it was for a reason sweet potato is actually good for your skin okay in case of some of you who don't know what sweet potato is here in america they call it yam and most people eat it thanksgiving time those um orange looking potato that is the sweet potato okay now when you eat a sweet potato make sure that you don't you know overdo it with oils or whatever fry it you know but it's good to just cook it crush it and just eat it okay you can also hear fry the sweet potato if you want to have some fries but just eat up your potato and the reason for that is that potato and i have some notes that i don't want to miss the most important thing sweet potato have antioxidant and it also have fiber so first of all before we get on why am i talking about eating food for glowing skin because we apply things to our face and we also want to treat the intestine. Whatever you eat can actually show on your skin, okay? So you're gonna treat the outside and you're also gonna treat the inside. More so the inside because the inside is what is basically taking care of the skin. However, when you treat it from the outside, it's actually getting rid of the, the, the whatever it's created from the environment the grease the dirt the dust and all of that so the most important thing is to eat right eat foods that is going to have your skin looking better especially when you are getting on in age when you're getting on in age when i was growing up they have this saying about you're what you eat or something like that and it's a reason for that okay if you sit and you eat all this grease and grease and grease and grease and grease not only it is damaging to your vital organs but it is also damaging to your skin and do your research if you are you know, aware of what sweet potato is are the many benefits of sweet potato, feel free to comment. If you have been eating sweet potato, comment. And if you have not been eating sweet potato, it's about time you start eating the sweet potato. The double duty is the antioxidant that is going to help your skin to 
boots the collagen and give that glow to your skin however the fiber the fiber in the potato is what is going to flush the guts out along with your water and that is also going to give a clean guts mean clean skin all right so definitely guys do your research on the sweet potato and try to eat as much sweet potato as you can i'm just saying as much but you know whatever it is you don't overdo it just try to introduce it to your to your your, to your everyday, you know, diet. Like you can do the sweet potato. As I said, you could do the air fry and make it um, as fries. You can just boil it, crush it, put a little bit of olive oil, which is one of the better oil to eat and, you know, eat it. Or you could cut it up fine, roast it. It's good to roast, chop it up and add it to your salad. So there are many ways to get some sweet potato in. Some people might not like the taste. I like the taste. And, you know, you could puree also, as Jason just mentioned. But definitely, guys, get your sweet potato in. Lucy, did you know when you are not drinking enough water, it will show in your um, in your urine test and uh, bladder in definitely 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 let me tell you something about drinking water and we are all well we have this goes for both men and women if you don't drink the water and when you start it, we're not switching from you know what to eat i know sometimes when i reach to the stage where we start to get a little technical with certain things people tend to go away from the chat but we all have this experience you don't drink a lot of water when you urinate what happened you go you smell that strong stronger odor and not only that stronger color and that is for a reason it mean that your body need more water so you definitely need to drink anytime i find mine looking a little different if i'm not taking vitamins or I notice a strong odor. And sometimes the kind of food you eat, when you drink like a lot of coffee and all of that, you definitely gonna get a stronger odor. And if you drink a lot of water, you don't have that. So it's a reason, okay? Drink up your water. And, and as Lucy was mentioning, we tend to have to go, we as everyone on the chat, you we always have to go and seek our to get to our doctors and all of that, doing all our checkup to make sure everything is good. And the urine is very, very important. And everything that you eat comes right out in that urine. So drinking water is definitely going to help to flush all of that toxin. When we use the word toxin, we're talking about all of that that is coming out from the body that the body don't need, the waste. Whenever you eat food, oh my God, don't go near my But anyway, whenever you eat food, <laughs> the body just process the food. And what the body does, it take out the good stuff, like the good vitamins and minerals and whatever is no good. That is what is left to come down in the truck. I promise you guys, I'm not doing that today. All right, so we're just touching the surface of food. All right, so let's go. I know I could just get carried away and I could just start talking about all of these things that scare some of you guys. So definitely drink as much water and definitely you can boil the sweet potato. Also, um, chess, yes, um, fact that a lot of the immune system plus health is... Um, in the stomach all right so part of the comment just cut off so that is it so all right so elaine burris i love sweet potato eat it three times per week so there's somebody that love sweet potato and that is so good and lucy grows sweet potato in on her balcony Woo! lucy just have a green thumb there i definitely should see some of these um, stuff that you're planting. And we have Maria Ali. Chichi, I love boiled sweet potato. It tastes good. And makeup forever. And that just went up. All right. And um, Lucy, you have a, a thing going there for you to, 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 to take care of. All right. So um, we are moving on. Oh, before I move on, guys, I have company today. If you watched the show last night, you know I have company. I have my aunt here with me. And uh, I'm going to introduce my aunt to you. Come on in. Come on in. You can pull the chair. You can pull the chair. So here is my Auntie Hopi. Hi, hi. 
and she's here with me today. And then you could see, you could tell that I'm in a good mood. So last night, if you guys were watching the show, I was showing the picture and we were talking about cheekbones. I'm not strained from, you know, you know, no. So someone was saying, oh, it's genetics or whatever with my cheekbones. Now she's my aunt. She's not my mom. Although a lot of people think she is my mom. So we're going to show off our cheekbones today. However, Take a look at my aunt. And I'm not even going to tell you her age, okay? I'm not even going to tell you her age. So maybe, maybe it's in the family, right, guys? You can see the cheekbones right here. And I love my auntie dearly, like oh, dearly. As a matter of fact, she was the first person that my eyes you know, saw when I popped out of my mommy, right? Yes. First person to hold me there. too. So we have a, a really, really tight bond that, yeah. Yes, and do. I don't want to get emotional, but this is my role model right here. This is the person that I wanted to be when I grow up. And you can see the lipstick going, you can see the makeup. And I always be like, yeah, I, I want to be just like auntie. I want to look good. My auntie was like, just so flashy, no joke, like, like really, really sweet. And she wear these lipstick and she always come home with all the lotion and all of that. She was like the first one to leave country and went to town and she have all these good stuff when she come home, the nice lotion. And we used to like steal it out of life. <laughs> And for me, I'm watching the lipstick, man. Like, yeah, I want to wear lipstick when I grow up, just like auntie, like really, really, really. So I love my auntie and thank you so much for, You're you know, welcome. being in my life love and, you, you know, love help you to all. just pull me out and, and I am here. So yes, guys, this is my aunt and you see, she have the mole. I think I was talking about a mole once about on the face, I think two weeks ago. And she have a mole right here. My mom have one behind and uh, yeah. Oh, you have another one up uh, there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's my aunt and see the eye bags, you know, it could be genetics, but I'll work on it for her. Like, you know, and Thank do you, before Please. she I go, we are going to be steaming our face and I'm going to try to flim it guys. I'm going to try to flim it for you because I'm going to steam the face and I'm going to just do the facial um, massages on her skin. So tell me, um, we're not straying now. Um, when it comes down to skincare, when you were growing up, what is it that you'd normally use on your skin? I know granny have a lot of things going. Coconut oil. So coconut oil. <laughs> When I come on, guys, and I talk about the coconut oil, you probably think I was joking. Where did we get the coconut oil from? From the coconut. Okay. We boil it ourselves. All right. So that, was, that was like the virgin coconut oil. Oh, uh, definitely. And where do yeah. we normally use it? On our skin. Our skin, our, our hair, our like hair, <laughs> our skin, our everything. Our eggs, yes, everything. the good old coconut oil. That was like. Well, we don't have lotion. Yeah. That was like our lotion, our okay? Lotion. So no joke. So we grew up using coconut oil. And another thing that a lot of times when I talk about it on the show, people tend to be a little skeptical. But tell them, we grew up using Vaseline, right? Yes. Yeah. We grew up using Vaseline. Definitely. Okay, we grew up using And how we use it, the Vaseline? We use it in our hair. Our hair, yes. And we use it on our and skin. Our skin oh, yes. So definitely, definitely growing up using the Vaseline. We, okay. We weren't so fortunate for the lotion. Thank you very much. <laughs> Until you and get grown and you went away. Yes. And, and then you used to lose. be bringing Bring those. Back, yes, yes. Bringing lotion and stuff. And that's how we used to um, go in our bag. And she was the first one, to be honest, that basically introduced me to perfume. And she used to bring, we have a thing back then, the couscous. You remember couscous? Yes. <laughs> she used to have couscous, guys. Like <laughs> couscous in her bag. Because she was like hot, you know, in her time. Oh, so still hot, right? <laughs> Right. Uh, my sister would say blazing. All right. You see, she got it. So oh. she used to have like the couscous in her bag. And we used to find some little bottles. And as soon as she turned her back, we're pouring that couscous <laughs> out. <laughs> That's true. Pouring the couscous out. When you leave, oh, we smell so good. So we I have very fond oh, memory good. of yeah. my aunt. And um, yeah, when I'm around my family. I'm a very, 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 very we're all happy. So, tight -knit, so yeah, we're close. Yeah, close yeah, bonds. yeah. So, 
Yeah, okay. so that's my aunt. And thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. All thank right. you. Thanks okay. for having me. All right, you're well, welcome. Oh, yeah, you can take your phone. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. I'll, I'll be out in a couple. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. All right, so we are going to be going to dinner after the show. So that's my aunt, guys. Yeah, my aunt, Opie, that actually helped to, you know, bring me in this world. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for that, Chrissy. Um, bye, Auntie. Yes, Juliana, um, it's so good to talk about this. It's fun. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rita, two beautiful ladies. All right, so we are moving on coconut oil while you did your own. Yeah, yeah, my grandma used to make coconut oil. She actually used to sell it, no joke. And I could give you the whole story of the process. And I think I talk about it on my show a lot. She used to make, we have like a lot of land with a lot of fruits and nuts and all of that kind of thing. So they used to, you know, we have, we don't have to buy the coconut. It was there and we would just, they cut, break them, grate them and squeeze them, boil them. And you get that coconut oil, bottles and bottles of coconut oil. And then we used to sell it to the neighbors and you know everybody in the community so i grew up with the coconut oil and i still believe in using the coconut oil on my skin all right so we are moving on and we are talking about food that you can eat now i'm going to introduce a food to you which all of us already know what it is use it but you might not know that it has so many benefits when it comes on to skin care external and internal and that is tomato I start eating a lot of tomato nowadays because I don't really do the meat thing and I eat a lot of tomatoes. But little old me didn't even realize how much benefits the tomato have when you eat it. Especially, guys, believe it or not, even though this is normally in a can, but tomato paste is good. I was doing a research um months ago probably years ago on tomatoes okay but i was researching tomatoes when it comes on to men health which you know we ain't gonna go into that right now but jason yes tomato paste is good for you i know jason and a couple other men is on the show so tomato paste is good for you and if you guys want me to share that research with you guys i will but i did this research on tomato and tomato paste on a whole and it's really really good for men however tomato paste is not only good tomato on a whole is good for your skin okay so let me see the notes i was putting on here so that i don't forget some important that i want to tell you guys okay so lipopene now tomato have lipopene and that is what to help the skin to stay fresh and to look beautiful and to get that glow when you have Guys, I'm not going to talk about that. I almost went straight to the guys. But anyway, when you make that tomato paste, it actually produces more lipopene. And that lipopene is what is going to help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes. It also contains a vitamin C, and vitamin C will help to boost the collagen production. I could go on further talking more technical stuff about the tomato, but I don't want you guys to leave as usual. I don't want to get onto the old bio stuff and, you know, health stuff, but definitely guys use up the tomato. Eat a tomato and you can also use the tomato paste. Very, very good for your skin. And you can research it when you're done for yourself, the many benefits that the tomato have for your skin. Now, tomato, when you use it topically, it's going to help to brighten and lighten the skin. Tomato, when you eat it and you digest it, is also going to help to brighten and lighten the skin from the lipopene, from the vitamin C that you're taking in internally. When you have a tomato and if you crush that tomato similar to the garlic if you crush the tomato and you make that you know the tomatoes true some people make their own tomato paste and if you make boil that tomato and you set it aside for a couple of days you can even put it in the refrigerator it's going to produce more of the lipopene which is good for your system on a whole and that is why the tomato for some people they could make their own tomato paste or some people can make their own tomato sauce so definitely use up the tomato fresh tomato is good however 
when you boil it and you put it away for a couple of days or so, it is even more effective for your body. And if you anyone know what I'm talking about, please feel free to comment. Now, there are many ways that you can eat tomato. For me, I have this thing with tomato that I make, and I normally tend to show off myself with it when I have company. What I do, I cut my tomatoes in slices, and then I put, I have this um, special blend of seasoning that contain a little bit of a lavender leaves mixed with um oregano tarragon basil and stuff is a mix but you do have a little lavender leaf in there which give it a little kick and then i would sprinkle that over the tomato and what i would do i would pour a little bit of a olive oil and a little bit of a truffle oil i love truffle oil it's on the more expensive side but a little goes a long way because you could take a few drops and mix it with a carrier oil such as the olive oil and i blend that up and i pour it with a little bit of my pink salt and some black pepper and i just mix it up and put it aside and then after a few you know minutes probably 30 minutes or so then i would just eat that and i'm telling you guys every time it never go wrong if i have somebody and i want to impress i always make that okay and then i probably would make like a sandwich with some um arugula leaves or something like that but that tomato when my um niece and nephews were here over the holidays like I was making that and every evening they're like, are you going to make the tomato? Then one day my niece was like, you know, I haven't had so much tomato in all my life, but it really, really tastes good. So just find means of ways to use up your tomato because sometimes we go out, we buy the tomato, we have them there and they spoil. Some people like to cook with a lot of tomato. I have a friend from Italy and whenever she come on, I had to buy like a big old bowl of tomato because she liked to cook like, you know, the Italian pasta and stuff like that with this tomato for me. And when she uses the tomato sometimes, I want to cry because she would like just finish all the tomato, but they use a lot of fresh stuff in their cooking. So like 10 tomatoes is like nothing. You just chop all of that up and just throw it in the pot. So find a way to eat up the tomato, guys. is really, really good for you. And make sure, however, to wash them thoroughly. I like to wash my tomatoes in a vinegar, like just as I wash the lemon. Because, you know, you know, you know, you know, because you're just not going to cook it all the time. But definitely cooked tomato is good and raw tomato is good. All right. So, Juliana, um, you haven't used tomato for a while and you are so right. I have not used tomato on the show for a while. So guess what? Coming this week, we're going to be using some tomatoes. OK, we are definitely going to use some tomatoes. And if you want my tomato recipe, pure tomato, just slice and uh, you could get it, okay? All right, so definitely, guys, if you eat a lot of tomatoes, is there anyone on the chat watching that does not eat tomato? If you don't eat tomato, let me know, because some people don't really like the taste of tomato. And if you don't like the taste of tomato, and you try it the way I just explained it to you, you probably start liking tomato. All right, so we also have, we have um a lot of people um on the chat today, so you're watching give the video a thumbs up to show your support for the channel if you have not yet thumbs it up you can just look below and you're going to see the thumbs up and the thumbs down click on the one up okay but you got to make up your mind and do for yourself also comment we like when you comment it's up the channel and it also helps us to interact with each other more so definitely comment and jill was talking about the spice with the mozzarella blah, 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 blah. mozzarella yes 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 that you know, tomato and mozzarella used to be like my go-to thing. No joke. My go-to with a little bit of olive oil and a little salt and black pepper. Mm, 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 mm. Or those that they normally sell in the grocery that is so that fresh mozzarella that is, that is amazing. All right. So we have Susie, um, tomato juice, delicious. Does any got any one of you do like um Bloody Mary? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I really don't. I really don't. But some people really, really like it. It do have cut tomato. So if you like Bloody Mary, let me know. Or tomato juice, right? Anyone on the chat drink tomato juice? I always avoid that tomato juice, but it's actually good for you, right? So if you drink tomato juice, let me know. I just can't bring myself to drinking the tomato juice. However, I like to eat the tomato and I like to cook with it, but drinking the tomato juice is something, but I probably need to start drinking up that tomato juice. All right. All right. So, um, 
Pamela, I use tomato with carrot cucumber to make juice. Wow, that seems like a very interesting combination. C cucumber is really good for juice on the carrot, but adding the tomato, I never ever thought about that. So I probably should try that. And I'm thinking that it tastes good. I could tell because the carrot and the cucumber is gonna offset that tomato taste. That combination is seems like it's really really good i'm definitely gonna try that jason tomato with mozzarella all right tomato with mozzarella and herbs yes um hello elizabeth lasosa how are you doing and uh, we also um have margaret love tomato but i remove the seeds oh tell me why you remove the seeds no well nowadays sometimes like you're struggling to find seeds in the tomato right it's like you cut a tomato the when i was growing up and you cut a tomato it's like loaded with seeds you, we normally squeeze that seed out put it outside to dry and then we plant the seeds and that's how we used to get our tomato nowadays you cut a tomato you can hardly find six seeds in it or am i wrong girl or am i right let me know when you cut a tomato these days do you see seeds in it like in abundance and i know some of you like who are, who are much older i'm reaching out to you guys when you were younger, don't you normally see more seeds in the tomato than you're seeing now? Let me know. Let me know. Hello, honey girl. How are you? Um, you don't either. You don't eat tomato. I think maybe that's what you're saying. All right, guys. So we are moving on. And we have um, KHN Kinchi. Tomato, sweet pepper, carrots, um, and shallots, and etc. That's a good mix. That's a good mix. Alex D., I'm on, I only like cherry tomato. I must try the ginger. Cherry tomato, I like too. I like to just like, just pop it in my mouth, um, oops, and eat it. And normally those are like in my grocery, like two, two for $5. Most of the time it's like two for to $5. Hello, Alex Day. Um, I love tomato, but I never drink the juice. All right, when you come up, we should make some juice. Alex Day is actually my other aunt who was here with me um, a couple of months ago. Welcome to the chat. And we have A to Z, Walnut R, Wal Walnut, Wal and, and Alex Day is my aunt in their sister, right? Walnut are also good for skin. And I do have that on the list. I do have the walnut and I have a whole set of things to talk about walnuts. So you're right ahead of me, but I do have the walnut on the skin. Now we're going to talk about another, and this time it's going to be a fruit. And some of you have access to this fruit and some of you don't. But if you have access to this fruit, guys, and I spoke about this fruit already on the channel, and it's a simple old kiwi. Kiwi, 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 that brown, furry looking thing with the green on the inside and all those seeds, that definitely, if I start seeing kiwi without seed, then I know something is very wrong. But guys, kiwi is good. And the reason why kiwi is good is loaded with antioxidant. No joke, is loaded. Now it's better. I make a kiwi um, facial on this channel, but it's better to eat the kiwi even way more than putting it on your skin, okay? Now, kiwi have vitamin C, and it have more vitamin C, and this is what a lot of people are not aware of, that kiwi have much more vitamin C than orange, okay? Kiwi is right on the top of the list when it comes on to fruits that contain vitamin C. Now, I use a kiwi on my skin, and the mistake... I made the very first time I tried the kiwi on my skin was the fact that I didn't peel the kiwi. <laughs> I was thinking that, you know what? The kiwi peel is gonna contain the most vitamin C. Because if you know how the composition of fruits and vegetables are, you know that the, the nearer, nearer to the peel is where you find most of the nutrients. And I'm telling you something, guys, I actually didn't share that with you guys. I had to like, just delete, delete, delete. That thing itched me. <laughs> I'm running to the bathroom with this facial mask on, like running to the bathroom, like get this off me, get this off me like right now. But I didn't give up. What I did, the next time I make it, 
I peel the kiwi, okay? I peel the kiwi, I blended kiwi, and I put some yogurt, and it was really good. It was really, 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 really good. So you can use it topically, and it do have to brighten the skin. It have to hydrate the skin, and it leave your skin with just this nice, soft feel to it, okay? But definitely eat up your kiwi. If you have access, I know like in Jamaica, people, I, I'm not sure, probably if you go to special market or whatever, you might find kiwi which is imported which might cost a bit of a penny but definitely guys use up the kiwi use it if you make smoothies or just peel it and eat it and guess what and you guys need to take a page out of my book even if you don't like kiwi because you know it's so good for you what you can do you can just peel the kiwi and just take it like you're taking medicine no joke because it's really good for you if you have to have one fruit and you're looking for a boost of vitamin c get that kiwi it's pack the punches when it comes on to vitamin c and it's really and truly good for your skin this is the one fruit that contain the antioxidant that is definitely going to boost the collagen production. It's also good for the skin, help with the skin firmness and the skin elasticity because of the rich antioxidant in vitamin C. So if you have to choose one fruit for your skin, and we're going to, you know, just put tomato in um, the vegetable section because some people, this was always a debate whether um, tomato is a fruit or tomato is a vegetable, but because of the way we use the tomato, it tend to go to vegetable. I'm saying it's vegetable because grow on a vine and not on a tree. Anyway, we're not getting into that. You know, guys are always like sidetracked, but one fruit, if you have to choose one fruit for your skin and you're eating this fruit to help your skin, it should be the kiwi if you have access to it. OK. All right. Um, Latoya Logan. I've seen it before. My parents are from the Caribbean, but I wonder if it is good for the skin. It is very, 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 very good, not only for your skin, but also for your entire system because you're getting a full dose of vitamin C, which we all need, okay? All right, so we also have, hello, Taryn, how are you? And kiwi is delicious. Unbreakable people, I lose it. Gardening mostly herb is my hobby and you guys could probably have a good conversation because lucy seems to be you know the one with the green thumb moonrise i um i wonder if fruit no longer have its seed is still called a fruit <laughs> We're not going to go there, okay? Because then we're going to really go on a debate. But the honest truth is I actually know why these fruits don't have the same amount of seeds that they normally have. And all of this have to do with um, manipulation, really. And the farmers do manipulate the crops and they use certain kinds of a chemical and certain kinds of a science and certain kinds of a technology to come up with these new breed and new species and new seedless, like, you know, like the watermelon, they manipulate the watermelon so much that now you have seedless watermelon. It's the same with the tomato, okay? You, they, I'm using the word manipulate, but you guys understand. It's probably too strong of a word to use. But yeah, we do use it when we're talking about, you know, what they do with crops and stuff like that. If you should go back and look at, let's say, a squash for a hundred years ago, the squash don't look the same it looked today. And I could actually show you guys picture and proof. So everything has been manipulated to suit the, the 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 market or to suit the 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 growth of the population guys all right all right i get it i'm done with it all right so yes back to skincare back to skincare all right so we are talking about kiwi right so kiwi is good for your skin and you can eat it you can use it on your face. Don't use it with the peel if you're using it on your face, but definitely use up your kiwi. And kiwi also have vitamin E. Who, who knew? You wouldn't think a fruit have vitamin E, but kiwi is one fruit that have vitamin E. And you all know that vitamin E is going to help to hydrate the skin. All right. So we're going to move on. I'm, I, I, I have two topics today and I totally forget that I have two topics. All I'm talking about is what is good. All right, we're going to rush, but we're going to talk about my favorite, which is avocado. 
um, like an avocado mission these days. I will not end this show without talking about avocado because avocado is like my new friend. Like I used to eat a lot of avocado before, but now I'm eating more avocado. Not only am I eating more avocado, but I am using more avocado on my skin than I've ever used before. And that is because they now discover, and I talk this so much, almost every week I have this on the show. Um, okay, electrolytes and fatty acid, and yes, uh, there I don't see anything wrong with that. So, um, Jill, yes. Yeah, so, and I actually have it on my paper to talk about Jill about the electrolytes and the fatty acid and all of that. This is in the avocado. Now, um, they now discover that avocado. The sciences have now discovered that avocado is good for boosting collagen in the skin and also for lifting, tightening, and firming the skin while hydrating the skin. If you are like a uh, a products junkie and you do your research, you're going to find that they are now putting electrolyte as one of the top, top things for anti-aging. And that all of that electrolytes or everything that make up that electrolytes is in avocado. So now you're going to find, you now find that you have avocado oils out there. And if you do your research, you're going to find that they have avocado serum. And you're going to now start to find, a, they used to have it before, but it's going to be in more abundance. You're going to have avocado facial mask, avocado facial serum, avocado skin tightening mask, avocado skin tightening um moisturizer you're gonna start to see it out there a lot and always remember you hear it here first it's gonna take the world by storm and it's gonna come and people are actually gonna use it and they're really gonna see benefits because it really works i have been using avocado making facial mask on my channel a lot but you're gonna see it out there elsewhere in the beauty industry more so like when you we had the rice thing going it's still there it's just that now they're turning more to purple rice that's how you're gonna see the avocado because it contains it's like a anti-aging um treatment in a fruit no joke no joke do your research use it on your skin and also eat it many ways to eat it your guacamole and that onion or that garlic that do they use garlic in gu guacamole? I don't think so. But that onion that you're using is also good because it have that sulfur that is really good for cleaning your skin and that anti-inflammatory property. So eat it up in your guacamole. I grew up eating avocado with just salt and black pepper. We used to just slice it because we have the three. I told you we have a lot of fruit trees and we have avocado tree in abundance. So we just cut that avocado put salt on it. And sometimes we're eating it with nothing, like a snack and put some salt and black pepper on it. And we just eat it, you know? So I still love it. And now I'm finding new ways of using it and making it on sandwiches and stuff like that. So guys, get yourself some avocado. Another thing we're going to talk about real quick is turmeric. And this is one thing that I use on my channel a lot. But now when I go out there and I walk the aisles of the pharmacy, I, you know, we have pharmacy and we have beauty supply store. I'm now seeing almost everything with turmeric. We have turmeric tea. We have turmeric face mask. Like everything is out there with turmeric. But it's for a reason because turmeric is good for you. Okay. It is really, really good for you. So use up the turmeric. Eat it up and use it on your skin. It contains properties, anti-inflammatory properties. It helps to flush that gut out and it helps to have your skin looking all glowing. Inside and outside is really good. If you're on the chat and you don't, yes, um, Jamaica call avocado pear. Yeah, we do call avocado pear. It's the same thing. And I say pear for a long, 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 long time. I even did a paper once at school when I just came in this country and I have this project to do and I was talking about avocado and I used the word pear. Uh, anyway, it's, that, that's another story, but culture difference, like, yeah. But anyway, I learned now to, to, to say avocado. But if I go home and they said, um, hey, we have some pear over here. I'm like, bring on the pear, okay? But I just learned how to switch it up. All right, so um, Jason, as a matter of fact, you can replace butter in cake with avocado. Yes, especially in um vegan recipe. <laughs> yeah, very, 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 very tasty too. All right, Pamela Robinson, when I go to the market and ask for avocado, the 
seller asks, what? <laughs> yes, sir. I know exactly what you're saying. Most people, and especially the older people, like, you know, um, don't know that it's really um, peer. Like, I have this friend that she's from um, Guyana, and sometimes we sit together, we compare, like, different names of what you call, like, oh, you know that thing? And then they're like, oh, we call it that. Oh, but we call it that. So definitely we all have the same kind of fruits. Is that and vegetables just that we have different names for them and we also have um brazilian nuts guy brazilian nuts is good however the nuts that have the most vitamins and minerals and you know antioxidant is actually almond almond believe it or not almond when i was like you know really really watching my weight like at one time i was like trying to eat um for um seeds of almond per day <laughs> like you know everybody go through that phase where they try to get all healthy and all of that i try the apples right apples is good for you too and they have a apple a day keep the doctor away so i decided that i was going to eat a apple every day i did it for like about three months and then i just get tired of apples so i did it with the almond also i was like eating three to four almond per day so but it's good it's really really good but whatever you do don't do it in excess because you're going to get tired, okay? But learn to incorporate these things in your everyday, you know, diet. Now, there's a lot of things out there that is really not good for our skin. And I have eight on the list. So we're going to quickly talk about some of these things that we're not to eat. And remember, guys, I'm not coming on here and being an hypocrite. So I'm saying some of them on the list is easier said than done. But for me, there's some that I really don't. When it comes down to drinking juice, guys... A lot of you are not aware that most of these juice that you buy at the groceries loaded with sugar. There's one juice that I used to buy a lot. And I used to think it's healthy because it's good for women and all of that. And that is cranberry juice. But if you should turn that cranberry juice bottle around and look at that sugar content, some of you might as well go drink a soda. No joke. It's loaded and I'm not putting down cranberry juice because I still buy it. What I do, I buy it and I dilute it with water because it's good. You, for women, it's good to drink a lot of cranberry juice. But juice on a whole, when you are, it's better to make your own juice. No joke. I mean, old school, old time thing, come back again. And especially when you're getting on in age, it's no joke. We all have to watch our sugar content. So it's not only about the skin here, it's for our overall health. You really have to watch the sugar content. And from the other day, I was like, you know what? My family do have um, diabetes. So I'm at the stage where I need to really crack down. And I talk about this on my last show where I was telling you guys that I had reached a stage where I basically do no sugar, but I kind of fall off the bandwagon. I'm human, but I'm getting back there. Try to cut down on the sugar. Easier said than done. But yes, guys, don't drink your sugar. Don't drink your sugar. These fruit juices that most of us think is healthy, it's loaded with sugar. A quick way to know the added sugar in a drink is to, oh gosh, did I go there? It's probably for another, another session because I was going to tell you how to differentiate the carbohydrates and the sugar to know how much added sugar, but we'll talk about that so another day, guys, because you guys are going to be like, oh goodness, again, again, again. Now, cut back on the sugar. Also, less coffee. If you're like a coffee drinker, less coffee controversial i know i know i know because they do so many studies that prove that having coffee is really good for you but moderately and that's why i put less if you go to like a, a beauty um to get your skin checked out or whatever, they're gonna tell you no coffee. I say less coffee. So go easy with the coffee, go easy with the sugar, okay? And also what I have is cheese. Not only is cheese excess for cholesterol and all of that, but it can take a toll on your skin. And I could go into details why that is because cheese is from, you know, um, animals like goats and cows and all of that and all of that with estrogen. Anyway, I'm not going there, but just cut down on the cheese, okay? I have all of that on the paper, but I know sometimes I over talk when it comes on to those things. So cut back on the cheese and fried food, cut back on the fried food. 
everything you do, do it moderately, but too much fried food is not good for your skin, especially when you have oily skin. So cut down on the fried food. A good oil that you can actually eat, however, is olive oil. And there's an underdog oil that if you do your research, guys, you would be amazed that soya bean oil is actually good to eat, okay? No joke. It's right up there with olive oil, but because it's so common and it's like so on the cheaper side, people tend to look down on the soya bean oil, but soya bean oil is actually good for you. And the next thing that you need to cut back down on if you do it in excess is alcohol. Alcohol could just blow you up. You could have a, a night of fun. And when you wake up in the morning, your face is as fat as ever because of the alcohol. But for me, I personally think a little alcohol is good. So I'm just going to say do less if you're doing excess. Whatever you do, that even the food and carbohydrates over the the, the board is not too much carbohydrate is not good, but your body needs carbohydrate for the energy. So when you hear people tell you that don't eat carbohydrate at all, they're just talking about mostly the process, like the white flour, the white bread, the, the, the white pasta. Nowadays, you have so many variety of you know, pasta replacement and, and um, flour replacement that you can use and you get more protein than that carbohydrate itself. So eat healthy carbs, okay? Carrot is of carbohydrates, but it's healthy carbs, okay? So try to stay away from the excess. Better said than done, I like bread, like I like bread. However, I have got to the stage in my life once where I don't even eat bread. So we could do it, but eat moderately. One person recommend that if you like something, and I try this because I told you guys that I used to be so into my appearance and how I look. If you like something a lot, let's say you like bread, you can actually eat bread every day. But what you do, you take one bite. If you're disciplined that, I'm disciplined. If just take one bite to satisfy that crave. And when you take one bite, then you leave it alone and you're satisfied. I used to practice that. And then I kind of tweak it for myself. What I started doing was... From Monday to Saturday, I eat no form of a processed carb, no carb, only healthy carb, probably a little carrots or so. And on a Sunday, I eat whatever I want to eat. And I do that for years and it really, 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 really works. So just find, find a balance and find something that you think that you can manage. On a Sunday, I would get up, I would eat rice and peas and all of these good stuff and Monday morning, cold turkey. But I'm a disciplined person, okay? I'm disciplined when it comes on to certain things like self. I'm self. And as you could tell from my YouTube channel, I work in alone and all these kind of things. So if I say I'm not going to do something, just as though I just stop eating meat, cold turkey is the same. So Monday to Saturday, I'm very, very strict on my diet. And Sunday was my free day. So you can just do something like that too. And that is going to help tremendously. You could start slow. You could, if you normally eat carbs every day, then eat it today and try not to eat it tomorrow. Just baby step and you'll see what happens. Good for us, especially when you're getting on in age and we're looking at other medical factors and issues that could creep up on us. And another thing that we have to be aware of if you want your skin to look good and not only your skin, but your whole, you know, um, beam is um, sodium. And that you're going to find in most processed food. Those processed food have more sodium than you could think of because they use the sodium also as preservative. Um, for some of you probably don't know, like, it depends on where you're from. A lot of these like canned foods, like sardines and mackerels and all of that, they are processed food and they, they use sodium to keep it much longer. So be mindful of processed food. It's always better to make something for yourself. It tastes better anyway. However, it takes time, but it's healthier. Okay, guys? So I can see my clock ticking. So I'm going to just stop talking right now. And let's just take some. I'm trying to see if I forget anything good. Um, if you um bone broth, that's one thing I have on the list that you can eat to boost the collagen um, production in your face. Good for your skin. And I 
uh, totally skip over that. I have some other stuff, but time is up. So we're going to just take some questions and chit chat with you guys for a couple more minutes. And if you're still watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up, give the video a thumbs up to show your support. I, I know on a Sunday when I bring these kind of topics on, sometimes I know it's risky, but one of the members suggest this topic and I was like, yeah, it's actually a good topic. So we go with it. All right. So Jill, doctor told me no cheese except for mozzarella, feta and um, ricotta. And yes, mm -hmm, that is actually, and um, what is that one with the holes in the middle? That one is also good. And they, they definitely is going to tell you no cheese, no joke about it. But I always like, you know, moderately moderately okay all right and fresh mozzarella is best i mean it costs a little more you ever see the prices of the fresh mozzarella in the grocery store if you go and you buy those other mozzarella that's not in the water it's like reasonable price 5.99 here in america and when you go to the fresh mozzarella it's 8.99 like like what but anyway, that's um, actually a better. Um, Swiss cheese, yes, that's the one with the hole in the middle. That is one of the healthier cheese that you can eat, especially when you're, you know, looking to get yourself in order. And we have um, Ilani, I-L-A-N-N-E-Y. I eat some cheese and grapes right now. You just right up my alley. I love me some cheese and grape and some prosciutto right all right so we have um chrissy cooking i made peanut dumpling and it tastes so good Ooh, i could try some of those and um alex d you you can't eat a mile of carbs and walk you can't <laughs> you guys really have me going on with this you can't eat a mile of uh, uh, uh carbs and walk a block right <laughs> all right that is true so i used to go to the park right the show is over guys so we chit chatting right now so hang on and just feel free to comment give the video a thumbs up if you have not yet thumbs the video up all right let's get this to 100 if you're watching and you didn't thumbs it up i need at least 25 more people to thumbs the video up so we could have at least 100 thumbs up for the show all right so i used to go to the park and i used to walk i told you i was very health conscious and i would see some ladies running around the park and they straddling and they're running and every day you go to the park they'll be there and if you watch it you know what these ladies used to do as soon as they finish working out they head over to mcdonald which was right there in front of the park and i used to look at them and like what a waste of time not that i have anything wrong with mcdonald's but it's like it defeat the purpose like you're struggling like you're getting up at 6 a.m and you're running for an hour over three miles and when you're done instead of you just go you know take a smoothie or something you go straight back on the track and you know doing my thing but yeah you got to be mindful you got you really got to be mindful of what you eat because it can affect the way your skin look if you have a question for me go ahead and ask the question right now Chichi, did you get my email you know maya i have not seen your email where did you send it chichibeauty at gmail.com and what is if you're on the, on the show, like Maya, if you're sending me an email, make sure you let me know that it is you. For instance, like uh, Manolin sent me an email, and I won't say what is her email address, and it took me a while to know that it was her. Okay, so sometimes what the handle that you use on the show, if you're sending me an email and your email doesn't have that handle, you need to put it in it because I might just skip over it not knowing that it is you. Okay, so check your email and make sure you put it in the subject that is Maya. And maybe that's why I didn't see it. Okay. All right. Um, we also have um um Julian, lots of salad is perfect, and salad is always good. And make sure you wash those salads really, really good now, especially you know, with everything that is going on and we also have uh mohammed yes chichi you are what you eat eat healthy and get healthy skin no joke and drink the water i'm not joking guys the water really good and lemon guys 
if you can, you know, remember, most time I don't remember to put lemon in my water, no joke. But if you can remember to put the lemon in the water, put the lemon in the water. It's good for digestion and it's also good for your skin. If you don't have lemon, the good old lime is really good, okay? It's not the same. It's a little bit of, of a difference when it comes on to the composition, which I won't get into, but definitely drink. Yes, Elizabeth, I still didn't see your email, so you probably need to put it in it that you are Elizabeth. Chisha, I love peanut on my oats every day. It is um, advisable, advisable. All right, so peanuts on your oat. My favorite nuts to eat, it's peanuts, no joke. Um, when it comes on to pistachio, which is good, pistachio is very, very good to eat, guys. I don't, don't like it so much. I like a pistachio ice cream and I, um, when I went to Italy recently, I, my girlfriend, the same Italian one with the tomato cooking all that tomato, she gave me a bottle of pistachio butter and it was like really, really good. I love it, but I don't like to just eat the pistachio. We're really, really, really weird. Really, really weird. But peanut is like my go-to and I love me some peanut butter. My favorite, but it's not the LTS nuts. The LTS nuts is walnut and the Brazilian nuts and almond nuts. Those are the altier nuts, but I love me some peanuts. Okay. Um, 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 Kinchi Claw Chichi, I am Amicus Hall, huh, but I've changed my email, so I have to email you again. I'm big, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that email. So I see you change the angle right now. So yeah, send me again because um, it probably get lost. But I saw that. I Moonrise, great. You have a lot of church. All right, people are, you're, okay, all right. So people talking to themselves. All right, guys. So my time is up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. We have some really amazing videos coming up this week tomorrow we're going to be posting the video with the rice in case you missed the show last night we were steaming our face and doing all kinds of things with our face so we're going to post that video tomorrow morning so you don't want to miss that and if you watch that show or if you missed the show last night go back and watch it and see okay guys so for those of you who watch the show last night and see what i did to my face what do you think I'm wearing makeup today, however, but what do you think? Remember, I was doing my forehead and I was doing the laugh line. Makeup cannot get out the wrinkles like that. So my face looked fresh and amazing today. No joke. And I wish I'd come on here without the makeup. But when I woke up this morning, my face was looking really, really nice. No joke. And I didn't do anything else except what I did on the show last night. So wait for the video tomorrow morning, guys, with that. Um, rice. And if you don't have the purple rice, go ahead and use your regular rice. If you don't have purple rice and you, you have black rice, then use it. In case you guys don't know, it's a rice serum that we tried on the show last night. I applied it to my skin. I went to bed with it and I woke up this morning with my skin feeling and looking really, really nice. And I'm sure somebody's going to come on and comment and like, oh, you did go get your Botox treatment. No. The rice mask was my, my natural homemade Botox in a little jar. And it, bye, everyone. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye. Bye, Keisha. Constant. Hello, Constant. Thank you so much. I learned so many things. I have to cut um, canned food in my diet. Be blessed. Definitely, definitely. So that's the show. Hello, Loretta. How are you? Where did you get the steamer? And um, Amazon. As a matter of fact, Loretta, if you send me your information, I'll get you one. All right. No, all of you guys don't send a can for the vibe for all of you. Well, send me your information. I probably already have your information, Loretta. But if you change it, all right, send me and I'll get you one. All right. All right. My time is up, guys. I love you guys so much. Susie, Su Su S U S I. How are you? Um, thank you so much, Chichi. And God bless. Thank you so much. Hello, Anne Marie Bryan. Better late than never. Are you probably was on and not commenting? I need 12 people to give the video a thumbs up. 12 people thumbs the video up so that I could get off with 100 thumbs up. Very important for the channel, very important for the chat. Okay, so 12 of you that have not yet thumbs the video up, look below, we have 116 still watching. Look below and give the video a thumbs up to show your support for the channel so we can continue having this chat. We need seven more people to thumbs up the video so we have sign off with 107 of you that did not yet thumbs the video up. 
definitely some of you don't because we have 116 and we have 93 thumbs up. So thumbs the video up. We need seven more people. And it's easy. I realize that some people don't know how to thumbs up the video up. But right below where you're watching, you have the thumbs up. And then you have a share, a little arrow going that way. So click on the one with the finger up to support the channel. And that's how you support the channel. You love the talk, you love the live show, you gotta support it by thumbs in the video up and also by commenting. And we need two more, and then I'm gonna go take my auntie out. I have found this nice new restaurant that have all the kind of food that I like to eat. So I'm gonna take her there right after this show. We're gonna eat, we're gonna talk about old times cause that's what we do a lot. And we're gonna have a good evening. So that's how my evening is gonna go. So I hope you guys are having a good evening or a good morning or a good afternoon and if you miss some of the videos, go and watch it. Just watch and support. And tomorrow, wait for it, 10 o'clock. We're going to be posting that um, purple ice cream for you guys. I love you guys. Have a great week. Thank you for always, always being here. And I'll talk to you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye, Lucy.